is we are going to Let's not do that first. Michaela was shaking it. That's fine. We're going to end up emptying some of this out real quick so we get about to halfway into the bottle. It's about right here, right? We're going to empty some of it out and then we're going to spray the compressed air into it. And that's because within the compressed air, there's this liquid. There's a certain chemical. That chemical will create a nice little layer on top of the soda. And then it'll have all that compressed air gas on top. And then what that's going to do is that's going to cause a lot of pressure to build up. And then when we flip it over, all that's going to want to try to go up to the top. And it's going to push all that liquid out. All right? So let's empty some of this out first. I know, it's such a waste. I'm so sorry. But I really don't feel like drinking soda at 10 in the morning. Where's the best place I should stand? Um, that's a good question. You should probably get a little bit behind me so you don't get hit. So. Behind you? Yeah. Okay. So. You have to be real careful when you do this, though. Because, one, if you don't throw the bottle down the proper way, what'll happen is it'll come back and it'll hit you. The other thing is, you have to be real careful because the liquid inside compressed air is really, really cold. can't get the liquid on your skin. It's not really creating that pressure. Hold up. Is it going to freeze the liquid? Woo! Ah, I lost some liquid. It can freeze it, yes, if you're not careful.